Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and for all my new subscribers I'm very welcome a very warm welcome uh, to my channel I'm glad you found us and uh, that you um, want to or craft along or see what I'm going to make today I'm going to uh, be working in my uh, yeah pink it's not completely pink pink and blue patchwork uh, journal I bought from uh, Paper Daisy Journals and the pages are a bit in the back these two pages I chose uh, the other pages I made in this journal I also uh, have a video on so uh, I'll link uh, uh, the playlist uh, down below and the kit I chose is from Bluebell Designs and I yeah, want to make a journal out of it. I, I really love the designs. They're very beautiful and I just took a few pages. I'm not going to go through the complete kit but uh, it's a beautiful kit and uh, I selected uh, this page. I already uh, backed my uh, my image. The image was on this side and then this little piece was there. So that's a, that's a kit page and this is a kit page I want to use uh, a bit from and some lace and some embossing. I already chose the color I want so I'm not going uh, to be debating all kinds of colors. And uh, on this side I want to make a pocket and on this side a bit of a collage. Um, but I want it as a tuck spot so I can uh, put enough journaling in there. This is a freebie from uh, Amity Blue. It's an envelope. I, I printed it on, uh, on both sides and folded it. And uh, I think it goes well. I have to close it. But I think it goes well uh, with this kit. So let's get started. I hope everyone is well and yeah, still in the mood for crafting and no strange and funny things in your life. So everything uh, is quiet. I'm most, uh, most of the times I'm very happy when <laughs> there's not much going on in my life because yeah, then there aren't uh, any things happening that I don't want. Uh, if you follow me longer, you know my husband uh, had a uh, shoulder operation in February and uh, he's going uh, slowly forward. Still, uh, yeah, days with a lot of pain, but. Uh, there is progress and yeah, he knew it would be uh, a long and painful uh, recovery, so, uh, but that doesn't mean <laughs> it's always easy, but uh, he's coping uh, quite all right. This is scrapbook paper, so I don't know if I have it uh, more of this because there's a a graph uh, design on the on the back but I really love the color so I have to go through my uh, my enormous stash uh, that I still have uh, with scrapbook paper <laughs> to see if I have more because I really like the color and I thought it went very well uh, with the kit colors Let's see. yeah I didn't want to cover up uh, the writing of this uh, beautiful book page. I really like it and the pocket gets until here so that will be visible. And on this uh, page I want a collage so I want to uh, use it on both sides a bit. This is the piece that came off here and just a little bit I throw off. But I have to see what I want there. So let's make the pocket first. Put that to the side. 
maybe a bit in frame the beautiful things. And as a pocket, I chose this image because it's uh, almost uh, the right width. I'm not going to make it completely, I could have, but yeah, I want the, the roses on that side also, so I'm just going to make uh, use that image. I'm going to tear it. Let's see. I think um, the designs are in blocks of uh, three on each uh, digital, so if I can tear this completely down because I'm not tearing in another image and it's easier then uh, to do it like this. It's a bit difficult to see where, where the border is here. Now this is a kind of uh, full washi but it overlaps there. So that's why the, the line is not really visible there. Yeah, so I hope you're all well. It's always the most important thing. I'm going to ink this a bit. Uh, I will strengthen it, but I want to do a bit more uh, to the pocket. Just ink it a bit. Yeah, for the rest, not much has happened in my life. <laughs> and sometimes it's okay. Um, I'm going to uh, tear away a bit of the uh, digital here, and then I'm going to uh, put some lace on there, but I'm going to cut this the size I want because then uh, I know where to put yeah I'll explain when I'm uh, I'm doing it because it's a bit hard to explain if you haven't seen an example because I saw it uh, on Instagram. I think it was Grace B Creations, I think, that did it. Uh, made a, made a yeah, journal card. I'm going to make a pocket, but you can use it as a journal card. Uh, the principle is the same. Why does it look bigger? It's not. No, just a bit. Um, I like to tear. I always put my ruler on the, the small side and then I have the large side to tear with. It's just yeah something I think is handy. I'm going to ink this too. If something is uh, peeking out, it's not start white. Yeah, I'm, because the document journal uh, is ready. Um, I have to start thinking about a new project and I'm thinking about uh, oh, I don't know exactly how, yeah a journal but um, yeah not with no spine. I thought it had a name. We put uh, the signatures uh, that's yeah, also no so that 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 way, and you put the signatures. Uh, yeah, your binding is a doily or or fabric or something like that. So I really like that. I'm going to put this underneath because I'm going to glue things, and I want some dictionary. I always like dictionary, and I want to. Let's see which color is best because it will be 
underneath this just a bit. Now, I always like the German paper. It has to be longer. I need a bigger piece. These are all very small. Or I have to use the print like this. Let's see what I have. Maybe a piece of this. That can also be an option. I think I'll use this. Maybe I have a piece. I think this will be very small. What I have in mind. Or white. Whiter. Hmm. All kinds of different scripts. Mm. I like the very small because then you just see the small uh, print. Mm. Yeah. Put this to the side. Okay. All right. This is all. Yeah. The mm -hmm. Yeah, I have to tear this because I don't want that. Yeah, it will be a bit of a straight edge, but mostly you can see that it is torn, and that's something I like. Oh, that's very crooked. Let's see if I can get it straight. So yeah, a different journal because I never made uh, a spine like this. yeah without without a spine. It doesn't need to be this uh, this high. So I'm going to. Um, It. And I can use this little bit some other time. This I don't want either. I don't think you'll see it, but um, ah, I couldn't find my glue stick. Curious what you're all working on? If you want to share in the in the comments, I always like to to see what people are making. I saw some crafters they uh, are crafting uh, along with uh, Rachel the weekly Roxy uh, Creations Challenge. I always like the variations everyone is making. And well, I'm going to tear a piece of here because that's where I want lace. A bit of lace here. Let's see how much. Mm. And then this, I my nails broke from. I don't know what I was doing, but well, and I printed on the back because I knew I was going to uh, yeah curl this up, so you can uh, you can see the background. I don't really want to. Or fold the way I like it. Yeah. This will be up there. 
And I'm thinking if I want some lace up there also. And now you can see the the script there. And here I just want a bit of lace. That line. Make it like that. But I don't I see the white is really showing, so that's not something I like. So I think I'll need a bit more of this. And then the, the lace will go over the, the dictionary because I didn't like the white. Maybe. Maybe tear it. Yeah, I think that will be uh, better. You can see the script. I don't know if I put that underneath. Maybe I have a busier piece. Maybe that's better. Mm. No, it's uh, it's very open uh, lace. So. Yeah, it's not high enough. I was thinking that might have happened. Um, I'll just take another piece. I'm going to go away. Let's see if it's big enough now. <laughs> hmm. Just, oh my, it's much bigger than I thought. I'm going to glue that on there. Um, let's see how much I need. I can always put some glue. Down there. I think I have to uh, use some fabric glue uh, on the. I don't know if this will be enough. Little pieces. Let's see what I like. Yeah, it's very straight now because it uh, has been cut with the, with the scissors. So I'm going to go over it with my nails to make it a bit more rough. Like that, or maybe just a bit overhanging. I don't know yet. I'm going to glue this on here so that will be done because the, the lace can always um, be glued on the back of that uh, card.
Oxford isn't it's only several blue. That's I think a bit little vault. You can feel the, the lace a bit uh, beneath the paper, but I don't mind. And here, yeah, it's hardly visible that there's a background. It maybe it was, uh, uh, should have been more beautiful with uh, something that's more popping. I had it in a very light, uh, a very light pink uh, dotted uh, digital. Yes, really like it. Beautiful. I want this a bit more rough, but it's very wet. So I think I'll uh, I'll continue first with um, yeah. Really like this. I do like it like that, a bit this corner, that corner, a bit lower. I'm going to cut this away. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to glue this on here. Then that can dry. Uh, in the same time, this is a bit uh, drying. Let's see how far I want that. Here I just want a bit. I think I'll start with just a bit, a bit more here. And it doesn't have to be uh, completely oh completely stuck down. So uh, it doesn't matter if uh, if this will be a bit loose. Yeah, I want to. But there, there will be almost nothing, and I can always let that stick out a bit. Yeah, but this has to dry. I'm going to clamp it. This is very thin there, maybe one here, and I'll let that dry. Yeah, really liking it. And then I can roughen up the, the edges, so let's clean up my glue. The sun is shining outside, so it looks immediately uh, nicer and the temperature is pretty okay for uh, a nice walk or sit outside out of the wind. So it's always a good thing. On this side, let's see what I want here. I can glue this shut and that... Ah! I rearranged some things and now I have to... This I found a bit strange of this envelope. This can be a flap, but this can be a flap also. But yeah, I always, this is the front and the, the top. So I would turn the envelope like this. So this is the way I'm going to, uh, to glue it. So I'm going to, oh, if there's glue coming out. Put a bit of glue in here. I 
your music. Oh yeah, the lighting is uh, okay. Of course, I had uh, a piece of an extra curtain. I did close a bit uh, so the sun isn't shining uh, completely in. I want to tuck that, but I have too much glue. <laughs> I'm going to get a bit more open. So I'm going to, I have some plastic beside me, that's too bad. This maybe, yeah, like that. Then I'll be able to put the flap in, I think, so that can dry. Also, um, this and this gorgeous image. The beautiful romantic garden. <laughs> um, what did I want? Ah, I want something behind uh, the image. This is a bit what I had in mind. I'm going to glue that there and this here. But this will be a top spot a bit, so I can put a little a bit of journaling. But I would want something behind there. And yeah, I think that's too too light, too much. This could be, but I was more thinking of this green because I think this goes very well together. So I'm going to tear that piece out just for a bit of interest there, and then maybe a label or something. And that I didn't prepare, so I hope I can find something to uh, to add that doesn't take uh, forever to look for. Image, such gorgeous image images. Yeah, I can leave it like that because that's an image I will definitely. Uh, use when I'm uh, going to make a journal. And uh, if you're maybe interested in a journal, my document journal is, uh, is still for sale and uh, one of the tall journals. And this of course will be uh, the journal I'm going to make will be uh, for sale also. Hmm. Maybe I can use that piece also. Let's see. I'm going to ink it just a bit, not too much. But, oops, just to let it stand out a, a bit. I did that with the image also. Uh, let's see, where is my, ah, my embossing? Mm. Let's see where the page ends. It's a bit more visible like this. Put that in the corner. And then like that, like that. And do I want that underneath? Yeah, but I have to get rid of this white a bit. Because uh, the way you tear a paper, you always have one side where the white is showing more. And because I minded that when I was tearing this, and then it's logical that this side has the white. So I did that a bit. I <clears throat> inked it a bit and then it's okay. This is a torn page, but I don't mind. I'm going to let that stick out. I don't know. Yeah, it's visible on camera. So I'm going to stick this down until here. So that's already done. And then it will be a bit easier to position my uh, other pieces. 
I really have to always think about this. Uh, yeah. Collaging, I said that uh, before, it, it doesn't really go natural for me. Some take pieces and oh, it's beautiful instantly, but for me it's a bit more difficult. how much I want this. So I'm going to put a bit of glue here and then later I have to be mindful that I'm pretty much showing like that with all the green. And then I have to be mindful that I want to use that as a tuck spot if that's possible, because I want that, but I don't know if it's doable. Let's see some glue. Hmm. I don't see it anymore, so that's fine. It looks crooked, oh my god. <laughs> ah. It is just a millimeter and I can see it. So annoying. <laughs> oh, I have to put it straight. It's really stuck down. Really stuck down. Yesterday, um, let's see, this the 17th, uh, the 15th uh, of March, my husband uh, had his birthday, so uh, the children all came uh, for some pie. That's really something of the, the south of the Netherlands. Uh, we eat pie, not cake. Or, uh, that pie, I don't know if pie is this, this the correct word even. And, uh, but we celebrated his birthday, it was very nice. All the children were, were able to come. They all had such busy lives, so that's not always possible. And uh, yesterday my husband and I went uh, out for dinner. Uh, it, an Italian restaurant we really love both. I'm not going to do that because I'm covering up that flower. I don't want that. I wanted that to be uh, be there. No, not like that. A bit of the script there. I have to think how I'm going to glue it so I can tuck something there. No. I think I want it more. No. no, I want it in that corner. Um, no, I just need glue there. There. Hmm, that's strange because it's uh, it isn't uh, the same. Then I can glue it until here because, yeah, I, I think I'll, uh, I'll glue it and then that completely, yeah. Yeah, so we uh, went to an Italian restaurant. We don't uh, have many, uh, we had 
uh, three in our uh, town, three Italian restaurants, and uh, you know, with Corona, they didn't uh, they didn't all survive, and uh, yesterday we heard uh, this restaurant is going to uh, stop also. And not because uh, yeah, of any trouble, uh, but uh, the owner is uh, a father and daughter, and the father wants to retire, and the daughter doesn't want to uh, continue uh, on her own because uh, she has a family, uh, little children, and uh, yeah, she doesn't want to do that, and she doesn't want to uh, continue with a different cook because uh, she, since she was uh, young yeah she worked with her dad so yeah we were very disappointed when we learned it's such an amazing uh, restaurant so good and uh, in a different uh, village uh, nearby isn't it a good Italian but yeah then you have to go by car and uh, this is uh, in the center of town here, so we can easily uh, ride our bikes to uh, to the restaurant, so that's always nice. Yeah, so maybe uh, they don't know exactly because they didn't have anyone uh, who wants to buy it as of yet. So uh, hopefully we can uh, still be going this year. <laughs> yeah. It will stick. Okay. And now this writing is showing also. Yes, really like it. Let's see if the pocket is stuck down. Okay. Yeah, the, I'm going to put the glue on here and then I'm going to cut the excess because, yeah. It doesn't need that much, and I can always use it. Oh, I didn't put the pin in. This is uh, just uh, all-purpose glue, but sometimes it keeps coming uh, out of the bottle. Put a strip here. So yeah, we had a great dinner last night. Mm. We love going uh, going out for dinner. <laughs> we both enjoy that very much. It's uh, a real outing, uh, <laughs> we call it. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned that before, but in our town we have oh, a lot of restaurants and they're all all are good. It's so amazing that we have that luxury of uh, of that choice. So hopefully there will be an Italian coming back because otherwise we won't have an Italian restaurant in town. Oh, I really love this. And I want the envelope. Where is my envelope? I put it here to dry. Yeah, uh, I got it. Oh, I know my, pla <laughs> my plastic really stuff. Yeah. First, the envelope. Uh, no, the pocket. Let's see what I have. The right glue. Or well, maybe I do need to arc a little glue a bit on the fabric. Oh. I'll just put my head in the way. Put it like that. Uh, 
and my son and daughter-in-law, they were, when they visited uh, last, of, yeah, just Wednesday when my husband had his, uh, celebrated his birthday, they just returned from, um, oh, I don't know what it's called in English, Lapland, we call it. It's the, the top of the Scandinavian countries. And uh, they went on uh, uh, a dog uh, sleigh ride and they saw the Northern Light twice. So they were very lucky and visited the reindeers and uh, the, the Dome Hotel, the domes, uh, ig yeah, igloos, we, <laughs> we call them in, in Dutch. And you could see, they didn't uh, stay there. They had a, in town, they had a hotel. But in the, in the domes, you could also uh, uh, sleep. And the ice hotel they visited. Oh, amazing, those pictures. Oh my God, great. And some time ago, on, uh, I think it was on Netflix, I saw a movie and uh, a romantic movie, and it played in uh, in the ice hotel. So I saw it, and it's so funny that they, yeah, experienced that in real. This really has to dry. I don't think this needs anything more. Let's see if I want something. Still too much. Still too much. Ah. Then I'm, I'm going to manipulate the pocket or the envelope and I'm going to put it a bit shorter. And hopefully it's a bit, yeah. A bit of a beautiful rounding, I would want to say. Thinking that again. I can put my journaling in here and maybe I can see if I have a nice image that goes. Oh, wow, it doesn't fit any. Still, ah, okay, yeah, it does fit. Yeah, uh, this, I think, is a strange backside of the envelope. But I'm going to leave it like that. Oh, and I always want to use my real stamps. I have plenty, so I'm going to go with the green. I really like the green. Let's see if I have something. I, no, I don't want the pink, the pink one. Do I have a bit of a romantic stamp, maybe? Something romantic on there. I always like the heads because that yeah, truly feels vintage and they're all all this woman. Maybe that's very bright. No, I don't like that. Maybe a flower. Australia. Hmm. Do I know it's too bright? Like it. it's, no, it's going more towards the yeah the blue, the sea colors. This. Oh. Yes, it's the same. Yeah, I like that. Some would say no, it's too much the same color, but yeah, I like it. Let's see. The glue on there, that's the right side up. Let's see if I can quickly. Take my stamp. Oh, yeah. 
I put it uh, so I can easily take it, but I forgot that I did that. And my black ink, I never use black, but for this, uh, yeah, brown, I don't like brown. Um, let's see, a little block. It doesn't have to be completely the right side up, but okay. yeah. Mostly, I think it's way too black. But yeah, if you take brown, yeah, it's not natural because the. The stamping of the the postcards, yeah, beautiful. The stamping of the postcards, were, yeah, was normally did in, uh, done in black. So it doesn't really need something else. These I really like. I'm going to take it out. Um, yeah, for just a bit of interest, I really like those. Maybe it's nice for a, a little label, not too obvious. Let's see how I like this. Hmm. And maybe, yeah, I, I bought these because of the roses, but I don't want too much flower. Let's see if maybe a nice number. Hmm. Well, in, in beige. Yeah, spring. Is this spring? Hmm. I want to try this one. This is why, uh, yeah, I saw it uh, from other creators. That's why I, I'm going to leave, um, I want to try this. I'm leaving them in the, the way they are when you buy them. Because now in one uh, instant, you can see them all. And uh, you don't have to rummage through uh, the container. But I'm not using this for very long, but until now, from when I did this, I'm, I'm very satisfied with the, uh, yeah, from the flower, or like that. A bit much of flower, and yet I have the feeling I want something there. These labels I also really like. I got them from uh, someone personal. <clears throat> they're just blank, but they're not completely white. That's something I really like. And then maybe a number in there. You can get the flower off. Let's see the number. But I use these a lot. All my these my all-time favorites. And just this. It's also nice, but I do like it like this. Or maybe on a, a larger label. A lot of green. Let's see if I have the colors in a different color. Oh, I do like that also. Yeah, I'm going to decide. 
sorry for my hat that was in the camera my fluffy hair I need a new uh, perm the, the curls I have are not naturally <laughs> I make the, the hairdresser makes them <laughs> And uh, a lot of salons don't do that anymore, so uh, I'm very glad a friend of my daughter's... Uh, ah! Whoa! I almost made a big mistake, because I want that open. To tuck something in there. This is, isn't glued yet. Yeah, I'm just partially gluing it and I'm going to put it here because I do like that also. Yeah. And this, let's see if I can get rid of the straight edge. Uh, I don't want to lose that bit. I don't mind that it's sticking out. Yeah. No, it's not really holding, so I have to press it. And that's I think because it's on the on the embossed paper, I think I'll have to uh, really press it. Okay, let's put all the things to the side so we can see the beautiful page. This I'll clean up. Oh, like that. All the not nice bits. And here I can tuck something. Maybe I'll find something that suits this uh, paper. Oh, I really have to press that. The beautiful envelope. I can put my journaling in there. Yes, great. The green is coming uh, back here in the, in the vintage wallpaper. Yes, beautiful. Very happy with these pages and still a lot of uh, visible of what uh, Kylie made uh, in this journal as pages because I don't want to cover everything up then I can uh, make a journal with only uh, coffee dyed paper and that's okay also but yeah I hope you liked uh, this craft along or maybe you were just uh, watching and creating on your own and got some inspiration uh, to make and as always, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. I can't tell you enough how grateful, grateful I am for that. And if you like this video, I would love uh, that you subscribe, give a like or a comment. I would love to hear from you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!